My name is Daria, Daria Parhomenko. Uh, I'm, I'm a director and curator of Laboratoria Art and Science Space in Moscow. So three and a half years ago, I founded this lab. And the mission of the lab is to make a platforms. And these platforms where artists and scientists can collaborate and uh, to make synergies. So synergies is my daily practice. For me, the synergy is also a kind of synchronization process, synchronization in the brain of artists, scientists, and uh, all people who participate. It's a lot of uh, advantages in this process, and uh, a lot of, at the same time, risks. So to make a really productive synergy, there should be really a wish of participants to communicate. So really some kind of tolerance from all of them uh, and also trust. Because when people meet and they are all specialists from very different fields from, and different professions, it's, it's really kind of mystery what can happen and maybe could not happen. So it's also a very uh, experimental and a very risky area, which can have some, some new result. Sometimes you can see some results immediately, and sometimes you need just to wait, and maybe some, something will appear in the future. We do a lot of um, discussions, um, different, different communications. And from these communications, um, some products evolve. Uh, part of these products comes uh, to the exhibitions. And we exhibit these results of these synergies. And, and, um, I can compare these result, uh, the things I do with the quantum physics because it's some, you know, very little invisible molecules uh, merge, and you still can't see what's happening. But maybe the results we'll see in future on a very big scale what will appear, and. And, of course, uh, on one hand, uh, I work with a very invisible process. So these synergies it's, it can be a kind of immaterial, immaterial process, but which can give us a very big result in future. And uh, from my personal practice, I would say that it's already gave a, a lot of um, good results and uh, profits for artists. So artists now are searching for new materials, for new ideas for their work. And uh, my last um, curator uh, experience, uh, which is one of latest examples I can give you, is the experiment and the exhibition uh, I curated was Marina Abramovic. So she, she turned to science, which is very, uh, un, can be very unexpected to many people, so that the artist who never was interested in science somehow need objective tools to prove her own artistic hypothesis. And then she asked scientists to help her to stage a new performance with a really uh, using new scientific materials. And uh, this is a synergy when artists coming uh, to scientific labs questioning something, helping them to help, but at the same time, this something was what he is asking to help him or her is also interesting for scientists. So it's not only these practical things for one, so it should be interesting for both sides. 
if it's interesting for both sides, then we have opportunity to reach this synergy. And with this example, what I'm telling you very, very briefly with uh, Marina Abramovic, so she asked scientists to help her to stage a new performance to check the synchronization of the uh, brain waves w which are happening in uh, people who are looking into each other's eyes in nonverbal communication. And uh, this new performance of uh, her is may maybe more scientific project than artistic. And uh, when we are talking about science art collaborations and these kind of synergies, it's also, we understand that it's uh, a very collaborative, the product they do together, it's very collaborative. It doesn't belong to one artist, so it's a collaboration. And uh, maybe if to talk about artists, they should be ready to sacrifice their own, like, egos and their, their own artworks. And like Marina did for, for, for my vision, what she did, she just sacrificed her new work to scientists and said, please discover this because I think it's not only some subjective feelings, but this, uh, with my intuition, I feel that what I'm doing belongs not only to art, but maybe to science, and maybe it can help to go forward. Here can be a lot of difficulties also, and difficulties of different level. It can be institutional difficulties, because when we are talking of these interdisciplinary area, uh, I'm always questioning to what area it's belonging more, to art and to science, because sometimes uh, I'm feeling myself in a very, um, I mean, outside, a little bit outside of this art main field, and a little bit outside of the, yes, of course not science, not art, but something third, and uh, these, margins of this something third new field is not very described yet. So and from this problem you can see a lot of practical problems like funding, like working with a public relation. And, but at the same time with these problems, it's a lot of uh, freedom because we're working, when we're working with something very new, then it's also a lot of flexibility. So this is kind of one very uh, strong uh, plus of the problems can be. Second uh, type of the problem is, uh, I think, communications. Yeah, because not not all, all scientists are ready to accept these ideas and. Uh, it usually takes a lot of time, a lot of efforts to prepare both sides for these communications and to work with them to understand what really can be profitable, profitable for both. It's also one part of the problems. And also, very, yes, I should name one more problem, but which is maybe very local for which is very important for my context, is that in uh, Russia, it's not many, not many people are working in this field. Even want to say very, very little people are working because my lab is the only one lab in Russia now, which is the institution speci specialized and cultivates this area and provide artists some opportunities, exhibiting and really making some institutional work. But we really lack experts and artists who are really interested to make this area go forward. So I can tell about what I'm already planning uh, now. 
uh, with the, so we did this uh, new experiment, scientific experiment with Marina Abramovic, and uh, now planning with her and some Russian scientists who are very interested in continuation this uh, experiment. We're making the huge interdisciplinary symposium where uh, main scientists all over the world who studies brain from different angles, so like neurobiologists, psychologists, physiologists, and also anthropologists, philosophers, psychologists, they come and uh, discuss in Moscow this very new and important area of the brain studies. Because now brain studies is becoming uh, very, very actual and uh, in the same level like before was physics and astronomy and it's becoming on the same path. And I'm very looking forward to organize and to make this new type of symposium because the content will be very scientific, but the form and um, what it be itself, it will be an artwork, it will be very artistic form. And uh, I hope that there a lot of synergies will happen with the people who will come and uh, will be very open to participate.